how you guys doing hope you guys are doing wonderful if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Michelle today I want to do a quick video on the Fenty Beauty Stunna lip paints I have three of them today and I just want to show you what they look like on me I love Fenty Beauty love Rihanna and I love lipstick that's like my signature thing on my face is my lipstick and I haven't tried any of her lipsticks before so I'm really excited it is a liquid lipstick it's supposed to give you a very comfortable matte finish the claims is that the lipstick is supposed to give you a 12 hour wear which is a really long time so we'll see if that actually does hold up but you're supposed to be able to just get it all on your lips in one stroke the three colors I have for you today are in unveil uncuffed and unbutton. I'm wearing Unveil right now. It's a beautiful chocolate brown color. So I'm gonna go ahead and try them all on for you and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. I'm using all natural lighting so this is a color that you should be able to see when you look at someone there's no studio lights. This is a true color so let's go ahead and get started. the chocolate brown it is difficult for me to find a good chocolate brown that doesn't look dusty doesn't look like it's just my skin and it doesn't look like it's chalky so first and foremost the packaging beautiful it's very sleek and it's very glam I wasn't so fond of the tip of it it is like a cushion and it's made to be able to apply very easily but for me I felt like the actual lipstick was gonna drip from it even though it didn't I just kept feeling like it was gonna drip from it because it's such a big sponge at the end but I will say that I love the wear this liquid lipstick does stand out and I'm not just saying that because it's Rihanna or because it's pretty it's a very unique formula most liquid lipsticks are very 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 drying and the ones that are not drying they tend to just kind of like wipe off after a couple minutes this is not like that it goes on feeling very smooth almost like velvet it's not even as thick as like a regular lipstick it's just a very 
comfortable wear. I can't really explain what it feels like, but it almost feels like there's nothing on your lips. So I love the wear. I feel like that's what would make me gravitate towards this brand versus another brand if the colors were almost identical. I would pick this one every time. And I think that the price is also because of the difference in the wear. The colors are gorgeous, but it is $24 per lipstick. So that is pricey. You are getting quite a bit and you know, I love the fact that there's a collection and they all start with on. I think it's so creative, but the price point is steep. Unless you love the color, Personally, I really wouldn't purchase it unless I love the color. However, the wear is phenomenal. It feels so comfortable. It's not drying. It's not getting on my teeth. It looks very natural. I love this color. The nude one, Unbuttoned, which is like a peachy nude, I love. But obviously you saw when I first put it on my lips, it looked like chalk. It's a pretty nude and it does have like hints of like a sandy warm brown, but child, putting that on my lips by itself was a no-no. And even when I lined it after the fact, just so you know, when you line your lips after you put on liquid lipsticks, a lot of times it just looks like lip liner just sitting on it because it won't blend. Um, so that was, you know, my mistake. But even when I put it on before, it still looks way too bright. It's just not for my complexion. But you saw that I added a little bit of the gloss balm on it and it looked really pretty. It looked like a really nice nude natural lip. And if I was going to wear it that way each time, then yeah, I would definitely love the color because it is pretty once you mix it. And I'm pretty sure they're all really pretty once you add the gloss balm on top of it. And it's a nice kind of like transition from liquid lipstick to a lip gloss. The color Uncuffed is like a dusty mauve pink. They call it a rosy mauve. I like the pink. It's a very pretty, comfortable wear. It looks really pretty on dark complexions. I think it would look good on any complexion, honestly. Um, I think it's just one of those like staple pinks. If you don't already have a really pretty everyday pink, this color I feel works. And you can always amp it up, tone it down. It is a buildable liquid lipstick, which is also unique because a lot of liquid lipsticks, the more you add, the more it starts to like clump and look really crazy. But with this one, even if you add more later, it doesn't like layer on top of it. It kind of melts in together, which is... So I am impressed with the way that this lipstick actually wears. But again, the price point is just really steep <laughs> especially because a lot of her other items are priced a lot more reasonably but i would definitely recommend this lipstick to any of you guys who are looking for a very comfortable liquid lipstick or you don't really have staple colors in your collection i think that she gives you like the staples that you need a red which i don't have with me but there is a red a brown a nude a pink i mean the lip gloss you, you got you got it all so let me know if you guys have any other questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of your love, all of your support. You can check it out at Sephora. You can check it out online. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video. Big kisses. Peace, love, and light.